White House sources indicate that Bandari President Razani has accepted the vice president's apology and has already returned to the negotiation table. Barring another unforeseen delay, President Grant's landmark nuclear arms agreement with Bandar is all set to be signed as early as this afternoon. There's been a great deal of speculation heading into this morning's White House press briefing, many wondering if Press Secretary Abigail Whelan will address the question on everyone's mind. We have breaking news from Pennsylvania where I'm being told a gunman has entered the, the state capitol in Harrisburg. <laughs> Sarah, you have been with this one since the beginning. Tell me, is this kid going down, down, down? She might, Bill. The DA has painted Allison as the ultimate mean girl, and it looks like one of her classmates knew that her abduction was Pulp Fiction. The defense claims that Allison is a scapegoat. Could she be innocent? Well, no more today. The prosecution, in its rebuttal, has just announced a surprise witness. Well, a surprise witness? That must have rattled the defense team. Oh, it's rattled a lot of people. In one of the most remarkable displays of city unity I've ever seen, Supergirl's willingness to sacrifice her own life for the innocent has made her the hero of National City once again. Dozens of banks and lending institutions, including National City Mutual, released a statement calling this the worst digital data breach. The whole world's watching Jeffrey Bloom take his victory lap on all the morning shows. The acquittal will allow Bloom to claim his inheritance from the Rockwell estate. This is Hank Dawkins, once again reporting from the trial of Luis Ortega, better known as Geronimo. This morning was filled with more devastating testimony from the victims of this cold-blooded terrorist. We now go live inside the courtroom. As always, viewer discretion is advised.